this is Holly with WoodlandsHits.com and I have the beautiful Alexandra Hicks here in the studio. She is the owner of Goddess Hair and Makeup in Conroe. Thank you so much for coming into the studio. Thank you. So uh, we are kind of focusing this interview on an upcoming event that will be April 1st over at Main Street America. It's called Couture for the Cause and it's an amazing event that benefits the American Cancer Society and I know that you were involved uh, last year so tell me a little bit about that. Right. So um, last year was my first year to be involved, and it was a ton of fun. Uh, it was uh, it was really great. This year is going to be really, really amazing. Uh, part of it because the theme. Yes, is, I'm is so excited. Really fun. So tell yes. everybody what the theme is. I'll let you say it. Okay, the Great Gatsby. Yeah. I'm just gonna leave it at that. The Roaring um, Twenties. Oh yes, I already got my dress picked out. I need to go shopping. <laughs> So it's just going to be a lot of fun, you know. It's uh, it's really a typical fundraiser format. Mm -hmm. We're going to have uh, some salon auction, different things for people to do, some food and great company, and of course a fashion show. Yes, and that's the highlight. And I and I hear there's bourbon tasting. I did not hear I that, but now that, that now that that was mentioned, I'm sure my husband will attend. The okay, event. well, good. That, I think that was the reason why they wanted to do the bourbon tasting is to to, get to the bring guys in the guys to, in, in old vehicles. Oh my goodness, vehicles, that's going to be too. great. Yeah. They'll be great for photo ops for sure. Oh, you know, yeah. and it'll be a big red carpet event. Uh, so last year, what what was your role last year with the event? Uh, last year, I had a dual role. My hair salon sponsored some of the models, so we did a lot of the makeup and hair backstage. Oh, that's awesome. We were not the only one. Uh, I believe there was another salon as well, um, Shag. Although you'll have to double check. Okay, that. no, I, that's fine. Not mm -hmm. sure, but so uh, a lot of great people that were there doing that, and of course, I was also a model. Nice. So that was a lot of fun, uh, and quite frankly, most of the fun is backstage before the show starts. I mean, yes, fun to be okay. under one way, but it's way more fun to be in the back and okay, laughing so and giggling. Okay, so give us a little and... bit about what's going on in the background. Well, you know, everybody's kind of, so we have all those great outfits provided by Macy's and, yes, Macy's, and we're considering you. buying them and thinking, oh, this looks good on me. And then, uh, you know, and then they open up the show with professional models. So we all look at each other and go, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Great, uh, but you know, once we go on stage, then it's okay. And, it is. And it's, yeah. it's just you know, it's really it's really about the cause, which yes. is why I think the title is so perfect for that. It's really about the cause and not about how we walk on the stage right. or what we look like. So it's all right. And so this year, you are again going to be strutting the the catwalk. And yes, so I am be doing that. Will you yeah. also be doing hair and makeup or? Hair and makeup as well? uh, probably, I think okay. so. Yes, okay. I think so. Absolutely. I might need to come see you as a <laughs> pre pre party hairdo. Well, that was kind of a big thing for me because um, when I got sick, there was a lot of things I couldn't do anymore that I used to be able to do. Uh, one of them is being a reliable employee. I mean, you mm -hmm. know, when you're even. Well, let's talk about that. Uh -huh. Tell me about why you wanted to, why you found it on your heart to get involved with this organization. Well, uh, I mean, obviously. Uh, <laughs> being sick was never part of my 5, 10, or 15, sure. you know, year uh, plan. Absolutely. So nobody's ever ready for that. Nobody gives you a heads up. It's just you go in for a checkup and then you get that weird phone call where they tell you, I knew something was wrong when the doctor said, um, so we need you to come in. I said, well, why? Like, what, can't you give me my results over the phone? Like, no, we need to come in. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> so usually when you get that phone call, uh, and you've been really healthy. Like I was always very healthy uh, before. I was an athlete, and mm -hmm. I, it never really occurred to me that there would even be something wrong. Mm -hmm. And so when I sat down, uh, and they kind of gave me the, you know, this whole bad news, uh, that was kind of a so big... what was the the official diagnosis? So I had a uh, stage three cervical cancer. Okay. Which uh, I was told I was lucky because of the way it was, uh, they could operate on me. Okay. Uh, but they were saying that it was pretty advanced, so we had to rush the surgery and just get oh going. And so it was kind of, <laughs> I remember driving back home, kind of, I was really quiet, didn't listen to the radio or anything, just just paused and, and trying to digest all the information. Sure. And then a lot of times, and I don't know about, others uh but the experience i've had was once you get hit by that news then you start this crazy uh 
your your whole entire life is in uh, survival mode, right? Sure. You don't really have time to think through all of it. A lot of people have always asked me and other people that I knew that sat in chemo next to me or, um, oh, gosh, this is so stressful. Are you guys okay? And a lot of time the answer is, you know what? We don't really have time to think a lot about that right now because it's first it's that shock and then it's okay now I have to do this I have to do that so a lot of times you get to reflect and think about it once it's all over and done Mm -hmm. and a few years later you kind of okay dust has settled things are better and then you start looking back and that's when you want to get involved and you want to right uh you want to do different things there's all kinds of different ways to do it you can donate you can uh, volunteer you you know, uh, for me, my passion is to help women feel good about themselves physically. Mm-hmm. Because when you lose your hair and your brows and your lashes and your nails grow back super thin, it's really hard to, I mean, we still live in a very plastic society, I right? I agree. It's really agree. hard. Yeah. So uh, my main thing was someone helped me. I mean, I was so down on myself. I was losing so much hair and a girlfriend of mine said, like, come on, there is a magical place that I can show you and it's online and it's a store that sells wigs and I discovered the wonderful world of wigs and that changed my life yeah. even after my hair grew back I thought uh no I'm gonna wear wigs this is awesome right <laughs> and I felt really good about myself so now I like to do that for other women That's so, so nice. uh, my donation what I usually do all year long is when I know someone is uh newly diagnosed and they're struggling with okay so I have no hair I have no brows I'm I'm all pale. I um, I donate my time and I sit down with them and I not only explain to them, okay, you don't have to worry about all that. Just focus on your health because I guarantee you, I can make you look great. Uh, and I, I don't do any of the services myself because I don't want it to appear as if I'm trying to profit from that. So I don't, but I, I refer them. I said, look, this is where you can go. This is what you can do for your specific concerns. And, right. and usually they feel better about it. So, yeah. And is that why you opened up the salon? Actually, well, yes, it was a dual thing. I mean, first, because of my illness, actually, you know, I'm fully recovered, but now I have an autoimmune disease and a genetic disorder. So, yeah. Oh. <laughs> so I knew I could never be a reliable employee again because there's days where I can't get out of bed. Sure. Uh, and usually I don't look like this. Wait, she looks amazing, guys. You can't see it, but she does look amazing. No, I'm just very good at makeup, trust me. Um, but uh, if I came without makeup, you'd think I'm my sister or something. But um, I uh, I just wanted to do something. Mm-hmm. I, just, I just tried to be a stay-at-home wife, and that did not work out well. Yeah, I can't do that. Mm-mm. Mm-mm. No, mm-mm. no. I can't be a stay-at-home The house wife. was very clean, but right? that was not, mm-mm. no. I just, need, I just felt like I needed to contribute and do something, and, sure. and I... So I thought, okay, well, um, I had the genius idea, (laughs) being a little sarcastic there, but uh, to open my own business. And out of all the things I thought I could do is share the fact that, okay, well, maybe you didn't get the hair you wanted. You were not born with the right hair or the right nails or whatever, but we can, we can fix that. Sure. You know, you, so that's where the idea came from for the business. Awesome. And how long has the, the salon been open? Uh, it's been open actually four years now. Oh, congratulations. Thank you. Thank so, you. So uh, where, if the, if people wanted to go to your salon, do you mm-hmm. have a website? Uh, we have a Facebook. Okay, a Facebook. Facebook and Instagram. Actually, uh, Instagram is our most popular social media platform. Okay. We have well over a thousand followers and it's nice. uh, Goddess Hair and Makeup in Conroe. And so you're not getting confused. We have a mermaid on the on the photo. It's okay. a mermaid. So. Perfect. And we're in Conroe, so we're easy to find. Yes. Awesome. Um, yeah. Well, again, I want to kind of circle back to yes. Couture for the Cause. Mm-hmm. Again, that'll be April 1st from 7 to 11 p.m. over at Main Street America. Uh, there are still tickets available and some sponsorship opportunities. Again, it's going to be a great Gatsby themed event, the Roaring Twenties. There's going to be some really awesome stuff for for the for the females yeah. and the males and, and it's great really, fashion show yes. hosted by Macy's and it's really really a great event. Um, I mean, the prizes are always really really great. The silent auction, the door prizes, everything is always great. And then even if you're just buying tickets, you're not planning on spending any additional money. It's just a great time. You're going to meet great people. Yes. Uh, everybody that I got to meet through the Couture for the Cause are just amazing people. Mm-hmm. I mean, I've met some 
People that are now my best friends. That's uh, so nice. I mean, hi Candace, hi Misty, love you guys. Oh, I love them. Uh, yes, they're amazing. So, um, you know, I would have never met them if I didn't donate some of my time. And that's so great. Yes, you have a great story. Well, thank you. Well, they all do though. All, yes. I mean, every everybody, single and everybody's one. Everybody's story is unique. Yes, so, absolutely. And that's why we like to bring you guys in and just hear about your journey and your story. And yeah, and I think what I really like about it is there's so many fundraisers out there, and uh, and uh, there's so many times where you see commercials and it's so depressing, and and you kind of. Yeah, you almost don't ASPCA. feel like donating. I know. The SPC, I just uh -uh. want to hang myself. I'm, I know. I'm, I'm an animal, animal lover. I love animals. But seriously, I'm if I have Sarah to hear McLaughlin Sarah one stuff. more time saying, I'm just going to go hang myself in the shower right I know. now. I know. This is ridiculous. I'm right there with you. So the couture for the cause thing, what I like is it's very upbeat and happy. Mm -hmm. There is no boohooing. There is no, you know, just... Celebration it's, of life. Right. It is a celebration of life. And it's also about being positive. And, you know, if it's not cancer, life is probably going to throw something else at you. So. Sure. <laughs> Might and as you know well learning how to swing, right? And it's a great group to, it's a great support group. Right. It know? really is. Yes. I, I and so that's, that's another thing, too. If you've been, um, if you've been diagnosed or if you're in the process of fighting it right now, one of the best things you can do is go and see this event because you see a bunch of people that are currently fighting it or that have gone over it and there you would never know if mm -hmm. you didn't talk to them right you know so no it's not it really is not a death sentence it's okay it happens and then you move on and you just have to be positive and stay positive which is a big part of the treatment too i mean if sure. you enter treatment all depressed and down on yourself so do not listen to sarah McLaugh. let's not do that yeah no no, no. we mm -hmm. love you sarah but yeah yeah we gotta yeah. have some more upbeat stuff yeah really <laughs> so <laughs> well alexandra thank you so much for coming into the studio and again i cannot wait to see you on that runway i'm sure you're gonna totally own it and you know thank you so much for well, being a part of this you. event well thank you very much